Hello folks, I hope you guys are doing well and absolutely fine in your life and safe wherever you are. Today, it's been so long that I have not posted anything uh, where I speak and talk about certain things. So this is the video that which is going to be one of them. And suddenly the first clip which you can see right now, it's a teaser clip related to Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3. Now it's not been very long that I have purchased this Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 and I kind of liked it at some extent. Well, by the time I have you know, played Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 for an extensive period of time, I have figured it out that it had certain flaws, certain things which I still dislike it for some reason because Call of Duty people keeps on pushing all that fancy glittery stuff every now and then I mean there's a lot of bundles that they keep on pushing but they wouldn't they wouldn't give that kind of item as good as you can find in the bundles they wouldn't be giving it in your normal battle pass even for once even for one season if I say so right yeah so that's exactly one of the reasons why I have partially felt that the people sitting over there they always think about how to earn how to how to push more stuff like where players have to pay it if they have to get it and apart from that even there are some items which just looks ridiculous doesn't make sense it, it should be in the game or not i mean that's a all different to, to, uh, topic altogether but yeah call of duty modern warfare 3 is coming soon this year and then as i read in couple of blog posts all the achievements and un unlocked items from call of duty modern warfare 2 is going to be carried out through your call of duty modern warfare 3 if you buy it and play uh but there's a catch a couple of items will not be carried out when the items itself is not available in call of duty modern warfare 3 let's say maybe some variant of vehicle which might not be specifically available on call of duty modern warfare 3 it's not going to be the skins, whatever the achievements you have got it. It's going to stay on Modern Warfare 2, but it's not going to be there in Modern Warfare 3. Similar things goes with your guns. You might have everything unlocked for that specific gun on MW2, but you might not have it in MW3. Likewise. Okay. So, beside all that, yeah. Operators and all that stuff. If you find it in Modern Warfare 3, then everything is going to carry in. Apart from that, uh, I don't know how it's the game is going to be the re, uh, the reveal trailer no, not again not it's not a reveal trailer it's a teaser yeah the teaser looks cool amazing it, it it seems more dark in terms of its theme and uh, looks like uh, it's 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 a uh, uh, going to be a carriage story from modern warfare 2 itself I don't know if it is if it would be worth to put money into it again or not but yeah, as I always say that in the beginning, it looks too costly, but then eventually I end up putting money into it. Not sure. I mean, <laughs> I, I am kind of, uh, f uh, you know, fan of the Call of Duty in, 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 in a particular way, all because now it has more enhanced graphics and all that stuff. But the concern that's going to be in my mind is about the space as well, because it, it's not going to be a small sized uh, game for sure so that's one of my concern i have recently upgraded my uh, storage now i have one tb of ssd m.2 but then again that's not enough because i have already a couple of games which is huge in terms of its size also all the videos that i so sometimes recorded and uh, maybe not have edited it it seems to be pouring in there on that same ssd itself so yeah that's one of the concern and in this clip which you are seeing the gameplay video right now well i'm gonna show you one thing which has happened with my steam account recently someone got access of my steam account by access what i mean is i don't know who who is that but my entire email phone number and then the authenticator has been brushed off and i lost control in my to my account for a couple of hours maybe because it did took time to get it back well, uh, the way I got it back is from uh, by the help of Steam people itself. But here, the reason why I'm talking about this is uh, because there's a scam going on on internet, I guess, certainly related to this kind of incidents. 
I have found out which is a old Reddit post of not 2023, but then back back then maybe 2018 or 19 similar things happened with couple of people's and also when i came across with this incident i saw that similar things happened with other people not with steam but with other social media accounts but the moment they they, they posted some kind of help related to it uh, to their respective uh, you know support team of any social media account on twitter couple of accounts which are completely absurd and it's you you can easily figure that out that it's a uh, fake ai's bots well that kind of accounts just starts to pop in and then they would start to type in all comments looking like as if real people suggesting some kind of random accounts on instagram that hey this person can help you with this issue and all that stuff well my suggestion and be alert never go for that kind of people well, I didn't do it. That's not how I lost my account or how my account got into that kind of problem. But I'm saying, looks like this is something which is going on on internet in recent times. That's one of uh, another way to uh, scam you. Yeah, I'm going to attach here a couple of snapshots which I have taken from my Twitter. The moment I posted, I, my, my that particular tweet got highlighted for some reason. I mean, nev it never happens like that i'm not that kind of a big personality and it's nowhere to be possible like that the moment i posted my issue a couple of people just started to pump pop in and boom 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 they started to comment that hey 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 this guy is this guy is expert into this this guy can help it like that and in this incident i must appreciate there's three of my friends streamer friends on youtube itself orchid rogue and uh, well, he's not streamer, but then I ended up telling him as a streamer, but his name is Ferry. All three of these people, they, I mean, went on the line. I panicked when this thing happened with me. I called them up immediately, although they couldn't practically help me in any way. But then still, they consolidated me. They asked me, no worries, you will get it. I mean, of course, Steam people was there to help, but still there was some kind of, you know, insecurity when anything happens as such with us so yeah uh, be careful with your accounts over internet and uh, be careful with steam especially when you are using the steam web version might be i might have misclicked something in a recent times which might have pushed into happening that and be be very very careful with your sensitive data wherever the internet connections you are using that's all in today's video uh I have attached these snapshots maybe if I'm speaking too fast then you would like to pause it and then see it once. If you have watched till this far, leave a like and then thank you so much for being a part of my channel. Have a good day. Be safe.